what's up guys and gals my name is rick 9g thank you for joining me today we're gonna look at the tv show seinfeld now seinfeld is one of my favorite shows of all time i have done many other reviews and looks into many tv shows as well as movies from the three stooges to i love lucy to newer shows like home improvement but today i want to focus on seinfeld again as i said one of my favorite sitcoms and today we're going to be looking at a specific episode this one is called the parking garage now before i get into the plot i do want to say that this episode is quintessential seinfeld and what that means is that this show is quote unquote about nothing. This whole, whole episode is about them finding a car. More specifically, after shopping for an air conditioner, Jerry and the gang are unable to locate Kramer's car in a mall parking lot. Now you may ask yourself, how in the world were they able to have an entire 26 minute episode in a parking structure and Seinfeld pulled it off brilliantly and some may say in a very genius way pulled in the audience and helped to catapult this show as one of the greatest sitcoms of all time. Now let's look at some facts and secrets about this episode. This one in particular was very difficult to write and create because it had to be done on the normal quote unquote Seinfeld soundstage. Jerry's apartment and the studio audience and the seating had to be completely removed. Every shot used showed the entire set, so it required shooting from many different angles. They used mirrors all around the perimeter of the stage to give the illusion that the parking structure had lots of depth, but they just used about a dozen 12 or so cars and moved them around to create the illusion of being in the giant parking garage. The live studio audience for episode 24, The Tape, was also shown this episode, The Parking Garage. Their laughter was recorded and then used as a laugh track for this episode. So this episode was not filmed in front of a live studio audience, contrary to how the others were filmed. Now peppered throughout this episode, you see a few shots from the exterior of the parking garage. These are of the real life Newport Center Mall in Jersey City, New Jersey. Now listening to the dialogue of Kramer, he casually mentions throughout this episode that he is wearing a jacket that was left at his mother's house by a guy she was dating. This jacket that he's referring to would become a plot point in the next three episodes. Now there are two cameos worth noting. One is Seinfeld writer Larry Charles. You can see them in his episode. He's the man with the long beard who ignores Elaine when she asks for help. Now there's also Joe Farrago. Now Joe Farrago, now he has been seen in many infomercials that you might have seen in the 90s and in the early 2000s on TV promoting things like different cookware and different gadgets that they would sell on TV. So his face may be familiar to you. Now moving to the end of the episode, you can see Michael Richards. He really hits his head hard on the air conditioning box as he puts it into the car trunk. In the last few shots of the episode, he has a noticeable fat lip. The accident may have been less severe had he not insisted that the prop department put a real air conditioning in the box. Richards wanted to make his struggle with the box throughout the entire episode seem as genuine as possible. He made the same request when he used a bag of cement in the episode The Revenge. Finally, that awesome last scene where the car doesn't start. Let's go back to the original script. The episode was supposed to end with the cast driving out of the parking structure. Very simple and very logical. However, when they shot the scene, the car would not start. When viewing the episode, Elaine and Kramer are laughing uncontrollably. The creators decided to leave the unexpected ending because it offered a more humorous result. And it was another example of something going wrong that, hey, played so great in the script that they decided to leave it in. So thank you so much guys and gals for watching. I do hope that you appreciate and enjoy this video. If you wanna see more like this, just let me know which episode would you like to see me go over. I'd be happy to oblige. We'll see you next time guys and gals. Don't forget to stay positive and most importantly, be hopeful.